What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Lester Masters here with another video. We're back to basics again. Today, we're going to be doing, if you can guess, eyeshadows. That's my next step in my makeup routine. Yesterday, we did eyebrows, and my next step is eyeshadow. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this beautiful sunset smoky eyeshadow pet crease look. And I hope you guys stay tuned and keep on watching. Alright ladies, let's get started. So first you're going to take your concealer. This one is from Maybelline Master Conceal. And I just put a little bit on my top. And I'm just going to rub that onto my lid. I'm going to take my beauty sponge and just blend that out. have a nice sticky base before starting our eyeshadow. Okay, now that that's all blended out, we're going to start off with our fluffy brush. This one is from Morphe. And we're going to take this really butternut yellow color and really get your brush in there. Okay. Now we're going to start off and I'm going from the base of my lid and we're gonna make a kind of circular shape I'm just patting that color on because we really want to be able to see it okay now you just kind of want to blend out those harsh lines without moving the color around too much. Okay. Now we're gonna take this crease brush. So I'm gonna go into this color Jamila from my Juvia's Place palette. And I'm putting this color on one side of the brush and the other side is more empty and we're gonna take this out with all the color and carve out our crease first packing it on so we can really get that color payoff then I'm just gonna blend blend upwards ladies all right now we're gonna make our cut crease shape just like on this side and I'm taking a flat cut crease brush and I'm dipping it into that same master conceal you want to get enough product on this brush now we're gonna make our crease I like to start um, where I usually have my eyeshadow and just go directly up. Kind of have to focus for this part. You don't want to put too much concealer, but you need enough so that you don't mess up. And I'm bringing this all the way a true cut crease. Now we're gonna blend that out. Really take your time with this part. This brush from Moifree really makes it easy. All the way down. Now I'm gonna take a flat brush 
we're gonna go into this color, Senegal, and just pack it on the brush. I'm just packing, I'm not sleeping. brush and we're gonna highlight our inner corner I'm going into the color Iman and I'm dipping it into this color it's a little Zulu because Iman is a little too bright and Zulu is a little too dull for my inner corner take that same crease shade. I'm going into the color Jamila and Sakota. These orangey colors are really easy to work with. lightly blend that into the crease. Alright ladies, I think we're ready for eyeliner now. First I'm going to take this brown liner and I've been really loving to use brown in my waterline. It's really soft and natural. to this one. See it's all clumpy and goofy so I just, but I like the formula. So I just use this older brush that I have that's a little more rounded. And I just go directly into Okay, now we're gonna make a wing. Starting at the, where your eyes connect right here and going straight out. Alright girls, now it's time for lashes. You want to get you a nice lash applicator, something that's really easy for you to use. Because, and I like to hold mine this way, facing me, so it can be really easy to put on. Put your lashes between here. And you want to have it perfect like how you want it to go on your eye. Next, I take my weave glue. Weave glue is the easiest for me to use. I haven't found no other lash glue that works yet. And I like to just squeeze out enough to where it's dripping on the cap and, just, and close the cap. And that's way too much glue. So I'm just gonna scoop that off. Really give this time dry to dry. How you guys liking this sunset? 
eye look. I'm really loving it. Okay, I know you're not supposed to tug on your eyes, but this is the easiest way to do this so that you don't mess up that beautiful work and just place it directly on your lap. I'm gonna just let that continue to dry for one sec. And then I'm gonna go in and pinch it to my real lashes. And that is it for the in-depth eye makeup tutorial. I'm gonna finish the rest of my face off camera and I'm gonna come back and talk to you guys. Alright you guys, this is the completed look. What you think of my eyeshadow tutorial? If you guys want to see the next Back to Basics makeup look, you have to tune in tomorrow. I won't tell you my next steps after eyeshadow, but I'm sure you can guess. But you guys, make sure you follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Snapchat, underscore lips and lashes, Facebook, Twilight Paris, and I'll see you guys.